five seconds remaining. Welcome back as we find ourselves now in our final game of this best of three series between next generation versus next beginning. So a new beginning and starting out just a quick recap for you guys next gen stomping new beginning in game one but new beginning is saying hey no our turn we stomp you back game two and that was game three where this will be a bit of a nice swap around. Still no Tinker Ben. New Beginning have shown that they are not afraid of the Tinker Pick. But hello, hello, New Beginning. First pick Clockwork with the Brewmaster as well, starting out with very strong laning heroes. Next gen to follow as well, the Night Stalker and the Bane. Good to see that Freedom, he took out the Shadow Shaman. He realizes that that's such a highly contested pick. You know, Shadow Shaman feels like it's the support of the meta where you have to take it. It's such a good hero. It's great. It's so annoying. And I'm pretty sure at some point you guys have faced in your pubs where, you know, Ag Shadow Shaman with a refresher orb just breaks back door protection. It's, it's pretty disgusting, actually, if you think about it. And Witch Doctor coming out. So it's going to be the X Freedom Witch Doctor. Yeah, they really like to put Dial on the Tinker. But New Beginning, we'll see if Next Gen decides to let the Vengeful Spirit through again. And New Beginning could just decide to pick it up straight away right now. It's still, it would do pretty decent at the Brewmaster, actually. You know, Miracle is like, a, he's basically a master in microing heroes. So seeing him micro Brewmaster, it'd be, it'll be a treat, I would say. Next gen, how I think right now you need to pick here, which has a pretty decent nuke. Gyrocopter again would be would have been nice, but it was banned out. So another option would probably be the Luna pick into the Brewmaster. Not so sure how I feel about PA. Yeah, Luna feels more likely. Ursa as well wouldn't be too shabby. Bear against bear. Let's see, what else can what else can they even think about picking up here? You know, if you're new beginning you're running out of bonus time. Going back into the puck pick. So Yamate Puck. Okay, I mean I, I guess it does alright. Or you could still put the Brewmaster in the middle lane. But I think this should more likely be a miracle brewmaster. I mean, fun fact, in a new beginning, they have the higher rank average compared to next gen. I mean, I'm not saying that game one was a fluke. Game one, it felt like the draft just wasn't suitable for new beginning. So next gen, they have quite a bit to think about. They don't exactly have the best of control for this puck and the brewmaster included. So you have two very annoying and shifty heroes because, you know, Brewmaster is one of those heroes that if you don't have enough damage to kill him off in time, he gets the primal split off, he turns it around. I mean, you, you could always still survive, kill off the Brewmaster if you just have strong enough physical DPS to take care of the Brewlings. I don't know. They're taking the time to think about this last about this carry pick right now. Most likely, you sh could be thinking of going back to the offlane pick because you the, you also want to keep the options available to making sure that you could still run an aggro trial if you need to. Let it offlane a deal against the brewmaster. This is what if you're next gen, you're probably thinking of doing right now.
but 30 seconds left. Next gen running out of time. You know, both teams in this final decisive game, you want to make sure that you you you, th you think things through carefully. But they go back to sanking pick, so they do decide to pick up an off laner. Still could be a night stalker pick into the off lane, putting the sanking as a four. Yeah, sanking bane, you know, it's pretty strong. Caustic finale is annoying as well. Count initiation, that's the theme right now. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team back. We're looking at the band to take out the juggernaut pick. Mm. Yeah, it makes sense. You take out the jug pick. You know, he he's one of those heroes which is very self sustainable in the lanes. Not so reliant on right click DPS to kill a brewmaster. Yeah, I think if you're next gen, you just take out the Luna or Faceless Void. Taking out the Lycan instead. Just being a bit wary. Wouldn't have sent her to a Broodmother pick as well. But then again, you have Tinker and Sanking, so not nah, out of the question. I don't know, it feels a bit a bit nifty if you're playing, but okay, Ventral Spirit pick comes out. So next gen. Also, this is partially a deny pick as well. New beginning. I mean they're not too concerned about giving away the Ventral Spirit pick. They can still pick any other you know hero, but now that Jug's banned out as well, they could think about picking up the void. Whoa, Spectre! Hmm. Okay, I think Spectre's alright. It's pretty decent here. <laughs> Freedom and the Pirate. I mean, when I used to play Freedom in Party MMO Probs just quite a fair bit, you know, he always used to have this model for me. He, he would always say, take what you can, give nothing back. You know, that's a line from Pirates of the Caribbean. Because that's one thing when I asked him, like, how would you climb MMO? How would you get better as a player? And this was something which he, you know, he, he pl when playing with me, he always said that I overextended. I mean, then again, I probably still overextend at times. So, if anything, I would say it suits, it suits him. This set suits him a lot. Alright, alright. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Game 3, the deciding game here. For ESL Kid of Eugene to the C the first team to get into the C qualifiers. To the regionals. Will it be next generation from Vietnam? Or is it going to be new beginning from Malaysia and Singapore? A mysterious dot 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 clockwork player. Miracle on the Brewmaster. KYXY would assume playing on the Spectre with Yamate on the Puck and X Freedom on the Witch Doctor. For the Radiant side on next gen, you have Aloha playing on the Sand King, 1414 on the Bane, Gyang on the Venge with Dial on the Tinker. Last but not least, that BB playing on that Night Stalker. So yep, it will be a Sand King lane going up against the Brewmaster, they've anticipated this, which is why they're deciding to run an aggro lane. They know that the Spectre has weaker laning presence, they've read the lanes quite nicely. But running straight back to the bottom, looks like they decide to swap the lanes around. Won't be going for anything out of the extraordinary. So they should have seen Miracle, or they are about to see Miracle. Looking for the pull, can they put him to sleep? Get the magic missile stun up. 14-14, yeah I think they could put him to sleep. Get a couple of hits in. Stun up in 4. Body blocks as well. 
Miracle is probably dying here. And first blood will go to 14-14. Because he has a stout shield, freedom's right click is going to be very weak. Like little, little cotton balls just being thrown at the Sand King. And Clock looking to try and pull the creep wave again once more. We saw this back in game 2 which won Miracle of the Lane. TP coming in from the Bane. Clock, where are you going? The cogs are there to try and keep him in place. Doesn't have enough mana for the sleep though. He is still going to succeed with this pull. And because he has the wind lace, he's able to actually run this one off. A miracle now here to intercept the aggro as well. So the shared damage out distribute distributed very nicely. I think they figured that, you know, Sand King going up against the Spectre Lane is still pretty okay, especially with the Sandstorm. Caustic Finale, and Spectre doesn't exactly have the strongest lane kill potential. Maledict and the Caskets pouncing out. Might actually be enough damage. Ooh, this could actually be a kill. One more final tick. Freedom. It was a mercy Solo kill here onto Aloha. With a tiny bit of assist here from the Ferocious Spear. You know, Spectral Dagger. Plenty of action coming out here in this bottom. Oh, the cog's a bit off the mark. The push away. Cog taking a lot of damage out for his troubles. Sees the Invis rune, gets the bounty. Middle lane, very evened up between Yamati and Dial. Alright, so still 1-1, one one, both teams. It's kind of sad that you would see the Night Stalker reduced to just, camp just waiting in this bottom lane. You would have liked him, liked him to be roaming around. He's not even level 2 yet. But over the top. Freedom. Aloha, Burr strikes away to... They had an Invis rune, still might be able to get the kill here using the Cogs. We'll trap him in place just in the nick of time. Should be enough damage and Freedom getting himself another kill. And he's almost level 3 as well. Level 2 Maledict means that Sankin's going to have an even harder time laning. Even higher kill potential. Could even think about going for the caskets if he wanted to. middle lane. I feel like Dial could be in a bit of trouble soon. You do have the first night time coming up in 30 seconds, but it's still a very tough call. Clock kind of hovering about. Thinks about. Probably think about going to the top end soon, you know, just contest the runes first. Get the bounty runes up. Let's, let's, let's take a look at the Miracle of Brew for now, right? He's still 9 0. Hasn't found too much success. Yeah, he's just going to pull the entire creep wave and get the bounty when he's playing so greedy here, knowing that no one's going to punish him because there's so many heroes in this top lane. They want to get the Sand King a good start. So the game plan right now is they've identified immediately that Aloha is the guy who is controlling the tempo of the game here for next gen. Caustic Finale being annoying. He's going to get an entire creep wave, keeping the arcane rune for the puck as well. Yamate is going to be quite grateful for that, but over the top. Spells are going to be traded. Aloha is going straight for the Sandstorm. Malady is onto two though. Cog's going to push Aloha back. He will be the first one to go on to X Freedom one more time. Ferocious here. Oh, Freedom. Yeah, level 2 casket, and now they will, they will not be able to get the pain, but still, it means that Ferris is still able to get out of this, even has the salve as well. Oh, coconuts. That BB coming to try and get the save. The brain is going to fly onto the clockwork, puts himself to sleep. Double burrow strike, good stuff from Aloha. Can they turn? Yep, they want to get the clockwork kill at least, but Ferris is here. We'll find a return onto 14-14. Good kill trade coming out. Ooh, Max Laser. <laughs> Haha. 
Emphasis on stronger laning here from Dial. Doesn't want to take that greedy build anymore. Look at Yamate's HP just drop from that one laser. Level 3. Not something to laugh at. Level 3 missile from Kyang. Oof, Miracle is not going to be too happy about that as well. And they're coming in on one time, putting him to sleep. They have the brains up if they want to move the missile as well. Do they have enough damage? Popping the one charge. Miracle. Coil from Yamate. Rotation comes in, but 14 14. I think he should be alright. Or maybe not. Yamate. And Aorus. Gonna get both the bounty wounds. Level 3 brain sap. That B. Gonna be very happy with taking that Invis rune. Could decide to go try and find a nice rotation here onto the puck. And very little, little that, you know, Miracle can do. Drunken Haze is usually amazing against melee cores. But in this case, because Kyang has the magic missile and he's chosen to go for three points into that, his damage is very strong. Yep, jumping here into Miracle. Magic missile flies out as well with the brain sap. They can put him to sleep if they need to. Swap, and Miracle should be dead. Yep, going away to 14-14, big kill. Salve's up, and um, you know, in the middle lane, they're going to try to jump here onto the dial. Trapping him into the cogs. The haunt is going to be used as well. Dial should be dead here. Ooh, so many heroes converging in, and down goes Tinker for the count. Slowing down those BOTs. He just, you know, haunts back straight to the top lane. Great efficiency out here from KYXY. Second on the CS chart, going to get his boots on the way for the phase. They are looking for Aloha. They were considering it, but Aloha immediately got out. They don't want to take the risk, and nighttime will be over, so when there is light, New Beginning will be more confident in their movements across the map. Barrel Strike comes in, and that BB looks like they found the clockwork. Who else look at to try and steal that bounty with? Cogs, maybe he's trying to bait them. Oh, the coconuts! Double coconut, double coconut? Oh, never mind. Yamate finds himself another arcane rune. He's had some very amazing luck actually with that. But over the top, the coconuts with the spectral dagger, Aloha might actually end up going down here. Yep, very easy kill here for KYX while he's having a great time. You know, Spectre, I said, has significantly weak laning presence, but in this case, he's having a, a great time. 2 0 and 4, very involved, very farmed. And Miracle almost on that level 6. 6 to 4, we have seen 10 kills at 8 minutes and a half in. C. Dotka, in a nutshell. And, well, trying for a bit of a rotation around. They do ping it out, though. The TPs have come in immediately. Gyan, looking for the swap, perhaps. Could think about going to Witch Doctor. And a Witch Doctor is 3 0 and 3. That's a big kill. But they want to try to go for the big key prize, which is the Brewmaster. Little do they know that the supports are right behind. Primal Spit's going to be used. Oh, they want to go for this. They're actually just going to commit for this. Cycling up into the air. Will they get a push back down? Bringing him back down to earth, and that should be okay. But here comes 14-14, putting one to sleep. This Ooh, nice orb. Gyang should be at the swap out. He's actually going to be able to survive this. And the Brewling, the Primal Split is actually going to expire right now. This is where they should turn. If they will get one kill, which will be the big Witch stock to kill. They forced the issue way too much. Look for the TPR. Triple Coil. Uh, he actually does get a TPR. A miracle going back in. Finding one. Probably will find a second as well. Burst Strike on two. Putting one to sleep. Aloha. Salving up. Trying to do whatever he can. And actually will end up going down here. What is happening? One for one. It looks like Yang probably about to go down. He's going to pop all those wand charges. Wants to get the magic missile here onto Fractures. Freedom will survive this two for one trade. And they will look for 14 14. If they can just find him, Yang actually with the vengeance aura. Ooh, poor Freedom. That's a 
dominating streak, even if he died there, that was so worth it. Good gold swing going the way of New Beginning. And yes, that is Miracle, if you guys are not sure. Hey, Strune, Clockwork gonna try and isolate that BB he probably has. Yamate is coming in as well with the orb and the silence. Should be enough damage, but the laser. Ooh. That's a, that's a very close call. Perfect rotation coming in from Dial at the right time, saving his teammate. But over in the top lane, looks like Ferocious here about to go down here with the Fiend Scrip catching him in the place, and down goes Spectre for the count. Good epicenter usage, and that, he's gonna actually build his way into a four staff. Freedom just sapping up EXP, he has the death ward available. Could think about making a play here, waiting for 14 14 to just go away first, hiding inside the trees. Will show himself using the haunt, they will find him, looks like they actually can get the kill here into 14 14. And the Orbin, oh nice sleep, Bane. Probably will end up dying here. Giving the kill to Ferocious here, that's a oh, that's a killing spree going the way of Ferocious here for the haunt that's well worth it. Actually going for the level 1 Vanguard, not level 1 Vanguard, but first item Vanguard. Oop, stealing that regen rune Aloha. Right under Yamate's nose, cheeky, cheeky play. And you have a primal split available once more on to Miracle. He's just trying to farm up the blink dagger first. Improved initiation. Aloha will put to sleep. The death ward comes out. But that missile damage though. Aloha who wants to go for the bar strike. It does connect into Aloha. That's a very ballsy play. And Dai will actually end up getting ferocious here. Both players overextending by a far count. Trying for the brain sap here into X freedom. More than enough damage. I'm not even sure what's happening in this game. It's so clowny. We're 13 minutes and 9 to 11. Both teams just duking it out. Alright, alright. And it looks like Spectre will actually end up going into the Radiance build. It's going to be great against the Tinker. He has the BOTs. Four staff actually. Ooh. Hello. Hello, dear sir. Barstrike comes in. Can he turn this around? He's throwing out the laser. He's throwing out the rockets. Yamate comes in. He's found Aloha. He's going to escort his clockwork back out. Tranquils. Has a hook shot. Over in the top lane. Ooh, big commitment. The Primal Split's going to be used as well. Cycling up into the air. Tinker. Enjoying the view. Nothing much he can do. Freedom will probably end up dying here to the dial march. But Dial will end up getting caught inside the cogs, isolated, and he will die. Gyan getting a stun out, probably will get the clockwork dead. Brendan's trying to swap out, saving 14 14. Brain Sap, they're turning things around. They want to try and find Ferocious here, but the drunken haze. Jabami! The miracle. Now blinking to the back behind the tier 1 tower. Ferocious here still waiting inside the trees. They're going to try and juke this one out. Hunter in the night. They can't find Ferocious here, putting Brewmaster to sleep. The TP comes in as well for Yamate. Double damage, and they actually will back out from this. They have the epicenter if they wanted to use it, but it looks like they can't really find the initiation here. Yamate is still chasing after this Bane. Brain sap. Oh no. Ends up dead. Wasted TP. Yamate, pretty happy with that. Blink dagger now complete as well. Seems good. And both teams just happy to fight. This is that, this is that C thought that we're more used to seeing. Coconut bouncing around, does connect onto the Tinker, just at the very tip. Brewmaster happy to go into a slightly greedier build, I would say. Perhaps thinking about going to the Midas. I mean, Spec's basically one third on the way to a Relic. 
using a scan. I mean, this, this clockwork has been so diligent to just invading the enemy jungle the whole time. Oh, the swap. Did I get him? The haunt, the haunt. Zip around, zip around. Death Ward doing a full channel here. Sand King, they had a sentry that they don't know about it. Gyang will end up going down first. Big kill. Dial. We'll find a clockwork. But over the top, the Drunken Haze with the Fiend Script. Brewmaster using the Coconuts with the Epicenter as well. Looks like Brewmaster should probably end up going down here. Maybe not. Yep, Miracle. Dead for the count. Missiles, lasers. x is almost at one more right click. Now the double coil comes out. And it looks like with all these lasers flying around, double kill here for KYXY. I don't even know. Woo, four for three. What the heck? There's just so much fighting even as a cast. I would say there's only so much I can look at. Full Dava, I guess. And this is where that Blink Dagger will now come out to Tinker. I mean, I can see the huge appeal behind getting the Force Staff. And if you're Aloha, you want to get a Blink Dagger. Everyone's just going for Force Staffs. No one really seems to care about getting blink daggers this game. Everyone just wants to you know, get four staffs and just walk right in and fight because you realize you need these items. And now 2600 gold and you're gonna have that radiance up onto the spectre. Things might get a bit trickier, especially if you're the tinker. This is a very fat spectre. Bottom lane. They might have isolated Aloha. Bar strikes away. No way for him to TP out, he tries to cut the trees. Miracle trying to hunt him down, they have another bar strike in a bit, but another silence comes out. Ooh, will would be enough. The spell shield will not be able to save Aloha, and they actually do get one big kill onto Miracle. So it's going to be Vlad's on the way, TPing straight up to the top, get the shrine. Perhaps think about trying to jump into this Tinker the top lane, or even fight in the middle lane. With this night time, they want to try to secure themselves a tier 1 tower in the middle lane as well. Oh, Fiend's Grip, they've caught Miracle. Stun as well. Will it be enough damage? Ah, uh, hell no. And here comes the primal split. They will turn in and run, and down goes Giang. Should be down. Yamate finding one. They want to try and find a, a third. Cyclone up into the air. 14 14. The stun from the Earth Panda and Ferocious here. Should be getting himself another kill. Or the sleep. Gonna try and buy time with the Spectral Dagger. Miracle actually claims that one. And it looks like the one could find that BB. Will it be enough damage? Clockwork. Yeah, Rocket Flare with the coil as well. That BB's dead. Yamate popping that regen rune will be okay. So much fighting, guys. We can't, can't we just all learn to get along? 21 to 14. 1k gold swing going the way of New Beginning. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what can I say? Here at the ESL Kid of EGC Open Qualifiers, we bring you the best team fights and lots of fighting, lots of action. This this series, this game three, not disappointing for sure. Smart money. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Alright, so Tinker finally has to Blink Dagger up. Agonims would be so big. If you're the spec, you're kind of happy with the, the way this game has been prog you know, progressing for now. Miracle Vlads should be done. I see a courier flying. Yep, that's the Vlads. They have a haunt if they want to fight. The top tier 1 tower will fall. It's all about the aura gaming. You see, everyone wants to try and fight. Everyone wants to come online as soon as possible. One step at a time. Yeah, my tail taking the slightly greedy build, going into the BOTs. Lincoln's on the way and trying to bait Miracle. That's the thing. Do you know that we, we just saw between the Bane and the Venge, it's not nearly enough for them to actually even come close to getting themselves to kill. But I'm in the middle lane, they're gonna try and jump here into the Tinker. He already forced himself forward. 
The TP's coming in. 14-14. They might be able to find a pickup here. And it looks like they will find the clockwork. So Miracle and Friend will just have to back out with Miracle. Oh, say so Yamate and Friend. So meanwhile, Ferocious here, wait for that Radiance timing guys, wait for that Radiance and that's where you see the huge power spike. Oh, they're actually gonna dive under the tier 1 tower for this? Hello? Death Ward? Never mind. The swap out and they cancel it, but then with the Maledict Ticks, it looks like one dead Night Stalker. Put to sleep, now Primus Bit's gonna be used, yep, Night Stalker already fell down. And it looks like Gyang also about to fall him into the grave. Burst Strike. Not gonna do too much, but okay, first is here getting one. That's his radiance complete. Gonna chase out to 1414 14 with the primal split blue links. And 1414 14 is dead. Brush strike. Well, that's the end of that story now, isn't it? Or maybe not. Looks like I was horribly wrong. Nice dust. True side's a wonderful thing. And that's gonna be the radiance done for Ferocious here. He just needs to go clear one medium camp, he will have it. Hello, Clockwork. Drunken Haze, but with the laser dial. That's gonna help him to half an Aghanim's complete. Now the Radiance, I, I'm quite afraid for next gen. They've been losing quite a lot of these fights. They've lost three fights in a row, but on the bright side, Tinker has always been surviving. Sure, bruv. Okay, hold on. Let me try and raise the in-game volume. Hopefully you guys will hear it now. And meanwhile, that BB getting the Yamate kill. Big kill. Alright, trying to jump here into Aloha. And next freedom is just being... Casually brought down Dial, getting himself a very nice kill. Once more. This is the race between the Tinker. Alright now. Miracle straight TP out. They were looking for they were looking for Miracle. In the trees. But with the smoke, they will know that he's he's already TP'd out. Alright, so I think they want to try and pick another fight soon. They have to haunt up in a bit. Yep, they will use it. He zipped away. He's gone straight to the bottom. They want to try and chase after Aloha. They will use the coil for this. They have the orb. They have more than enough damage. But actually, no, it looks like Spectre. He had different plans. To oh, nice, beautiful cogs catching too. This is where the turnaround begins right now. And now, no, it's going to be followed by another turnaround. And with all the lasers bouncing around, Primal Spit's going to be used. They found that BB chasing after him. Aloha's going to go straight for the support. He's gone for X Freedom. He has the epicenter. But the silence up from the puck. They will find that BB first. Dial already killing a ferocious seer. That's a very, very big mega kill streak going his way. And still, the fight still has not concluded just yet. Aloha, Burrow Strike onto two. Doesn't have enough mana for the epicenter. They have more than enough. The silence comes up with the death ward as well. Down goes Aloha, two heroes dead. And missiles and lasers all flying around. But Dial might actually get caught out here. No way for him to run. He has to try to TP up the battery assault. The four staff, Gyang, might have to save his core right here. I'm not sure how. And it looks like Dial probably about to die. The body blocks of Yamate. Very nicely done. And it's going to be another team fight loss for the side of next gen. And four for two trade. And I think they know where Gyang is. They're not. Yeah, this isn't close to being done. They, they can keep on going. But do they have any troops sight? No, they do not. Using the rocket flight to scout for him. And. Alright, alright. Gyang, Gyang, Gyang. And with the shrine being used 22 to 29, I would have to. I guess it's safe to say that this game is very action packed. Yeah, he needs a BKB. I'm not sure what the spec was doing haunting into the enemy jungle like that, so near the shrine.
Some miracle. Looking to go into a pipe next. Freedom finds a D-Ward. <laughs> Plus 75 damage. Have to love that one, don't you? I am the real carry now. Sit every witch doctor. You know, his teammates are just dead before he actually gets the full extent of his missiles and all out. But now the smoke player coming out. Let's see what Yamati and friends decide to go for. Could consider thinking about jumping middle. Yep, with the veil and all, and the haunt as well. They want to try and find. Who will they find? Oh, but the Fiend's Grip catching for us this year. Cancelled with the coil. But it looks like Freedom will end up getting brought down by Gyang. Two heroes dead here on the side. A new beginning, it looks like. Hook. Oh, saving the course. Beautiful hook. Two for two. The burrow. They found Yamate. Epicenter's going to be thrown out as well. Does he run away from this? The Sandstorm cancelling his blink. Yamate will not be able to run away from this. They have the blink. They have the blink. They have the burrow strike in a bit. But they actually want to turn around the promise split at the back line. Oh, he could have gone for the puck. Why didn't he? Man, I don't even know what this... Is this turbo mode? Did, did, did we just queue into a turbo mode game? Laser rockets. Pew pew. Good spell. He needs the manta. Game is... Game is, uh... Fun. Ladies and gentlemen. But alright, I hear a hook shot. I see a dead venge. Swap. Sandwich by three. Surrender by four. And not how he visioned his life. But 24 to 32, we're 27 minutes in. This is this is Sea Dota guys. This is Sea Dota in a nutshell. Radiant are scanning. Alright, so it looks like they might even think about jumping the bottom lane. They should know where dial is. Oh nice flared. Great jump with the haunt as well. Does he actually get the silence out? Do they have enough damage? Yes they do, just barely. And it's gonna be a very key kill. You see, usually after that happens, what you want, what you guys want to do, is immediately say, "I don't know." That, that's for you. You must say, "Pick Tinker more. Pick Tinker more." Lul. All right. Well, not much they can do from that. They're still looking for the hook. Does he actually want to go for this? But over the bottom lane, they have their own issues. They pop the primal split. Do they have the dust? They put the sentry down. Should be enough. Ooh, just barely. Yep, they did pop the dust. Clockwork. Here comes Aloha cycling up into the air. However, Gyang still back into a tier 3 tower. Why did he dive in tier 3? The tier 2 is still standing. Guys! Hello, team? 14 14 puts himself to sleep, dodging the death ward, but it's okay. He wakes himself. I'm at 14 14. We end up dying, but it's okay. It's alright, you know, new beginning. They're like, what? whatever, man. We don't care about your tier 3 tower. We, uh, more or less the tier 2, but okay. I mean, the story is there is that BB is going to force the TP back to his fountain under the cover of his own tier 3 tower. Aloha will force the bar strike away. They're still diving nowhere as close to being done. Yamate on a mega kill streak and new beginning. They're like, you know, you don't need, you don't need to worry about objectives for you killing enemy heroes and you let the creeps push. So Dagon up 36 to 25. No, we have 61 kills at 30 minutes in. That's more than two kills a minute. 
That's quick maths. Yeah, my taste of waiting is at the trees. If he can find it again, I think he should suspect that the tinker's coming in. And this is where he's just pretty much baiting out the TPs. That's all he's doing right now. And he's learned his lesson. You know he doesn't want to get caught like that again in the bottom lane, but he may actually be doing that. TPing straight to the top. They're picking out the enemy side of the jungle. They know that they're in that yellow, this yellow spot. The hero's there. And TPing straight to the top. They want to catch the tinker. They have haunt available as well. KYX are going to heart next. Very fat Spectre. Clock. Getting stunned up. Do they have enough damage? Should have been more enough damage. The hook. The cogs. Push them back. Do they have a swap? Oh my god. Does he? There's no, there's no way he survives this, does he? You're shitting me. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. And he has tranquils too, so he's gonna heal up. Alright. What a clockwork player. Radiant are scanning. So 4,000 gold advantage favoring to set a new beginning. Dagon build will continue. Looks like a smoke play coming out from next gen. They want to try and find heroes. They could end up finding the Spectre. This could be the very huge key pickoff. They ping him out. I think they saw him. They should suspect. And with Gyang showing himself. The rest of New Beginning will end up sieging. They want to get the trade out. TPing in as well. They have the haunt, like I said. Buying the vit booster just in case. Oh, the TP coming in right now. The hook shot. Oh, they found him. They found the Bane. The haunt as well. Breaking the coil. Night Stalker and Bane about to be brought down for this primal split while chasing up the Aloha at the same time. So one down. Make it two. Make it three. Start to do what he got. All I did. And of course, Aloha will end up going down. Freedom Death Ward. Hello? Maledict, okay. And three heroes dead, nothing that the Tinker can do. He's gonna get his own BKB. With all these big spells down, the next time next gen up, they can actually take a fight. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. And happy if that they will take the mid tier one tower. The gold graph continues to extend in favor of new beginning. This is uh, the pirated version of newbie. So BKB up on the tinker. Oh, they found a big kill. Looking for the laser rocket combo. Yamate blinking out just in the nick of time. And Haunt's gonna be up in 30 seconds. Next gen, that very slim window of opportunity is about to just be ex extinguished. And nothing they can actually do to fight. Miracle? Actually, going to Greaves. No, it's Alcaraz. So much utility. Does he even have enough mana? Oh. Pinging out. The Venge, trying for the blind hook. Well, you miss all the shots you don't take, right? I mean, our spec is already... Basically about a thousand more gold to completing that heart.
Bottom lane, you know, next gen, they want to try and fight. Take the tier 1 tower, bottom lane. Gonna try and press, press things. They need more objectives, they need more map control. Alright, so Miracle and friends, they will go for another smoke. They want to try and fight at the bottom lane. The last time we saw this, next gen, they lost that fight. They lost everything. Orbing in, but the flank maneuvers coming out. Next gen, you need to back out using immediately with the haunt. They will find 14, 14. He's dead. Now going to the second. They're going for the next target. That BB. Going for the cogs and everything. That BB. Dead BB. Both supports dead. Very nice haunt being used. And now the waves are being pushed out. Let's see. Or Gyeong, he's going to try and solo Roshan. Does he actually? No way he gets this, right? No way. Are you serious right now? But they do get the tier 2 top, so that's a pretty good trade. And if they get the Roshan as well, this could be very, very hell worth it. The TPs are coming in. They're going to take that tier 3 tower. They want to. Roche is falling very low, but Vengeful Spirit still needs time to heal. I'm not sure if this is worth it. But they take the tier 3, they're going for the melee backs as well. The lasers are flying about. And they're using the primal split just to take that. Cyclone up into the air, they've caught the Night Stalker. And Brulings don't forget, they do extra damage to the Siege. Fiend script, they've caught Yamate, but the hook to cancel. And now the BKB is being popped, they find X Freedom. Cycling up into their promise bits about to expire using the oh they try to break the cord. You know, the bar shack they will catch the clock we're now chasing up to miracle next. Nice greaves saving his teammate only ended for momentarily. That baby now gonna chase after miracle. They already got the melee barracks, that's what they wanted. They've already got they really won that objective base for miracle. Well TP being cancelled, very optimistic. And this wave, the five heroes of next gen will I wouldn't say successfully defend the base, but they did get something out of it. Next gen, trying to make some sneaky plays to put a very sneaky ward behind. Dial or spotted out by Yamate. But this game's taking a very interesting turn, and right? Oh, diving so deep into the base. That PB, what are you doing? Oh, they got enough vision for the swap. The burst track, the epicenter, everything's gonna be thrown into the stun as well. Hello. He might actually end up dying here. Ferocious here, no way. The glimmer cape, the heal, the mixed freedom. He's not dying. Yamate, God like streak. Hard is gonna be used right now, and actually, Gyeong will get the double kill onto freedom and KYXY. This is big, there is no buyback. And Bane buys back for this. The Tinker's coming back in. Buy back after the Sand King as well. They're gonna try and press the issue here. They will force this. They just popped up onto Kyang. They couldn't even get a tier 3 tower. Is this the throw? Hookshot is off the mark. And Yamate will end up dying into the Godlike Street going the way of Dial. And they will go straight for the tier 3. Will potentially even be a lane of Rax. What is this game? No way. No way. And melee breaks down now, they're popping the primal split, Burst strike off the mark, they try to catch him in the mid animation, and it looks like Aloha taken. Aloha probably gonna end up dying it. The, the spirit vessel could be able to kill him, that BB chasing after the clockwork. So many buybacks were used, and they actually will get the melee breaks in return. They shouldn't know that KYXY has no buyback. But the primal split is still doing so much work, Burst strike coming in right now with the lasers flying out. Can they do it? Miracle will end up going down here, Miracle's dead! And they're going straight for the tier 4s. They're going to try to end the game. They want to end the game now. Can they do it? I'm not sure they can. Gyang. Right clicking for all he can. The swap away. He swapped out his teammate. They need to kill x The Fiend script cancel. Oh dear. No buybacks yet. Clockwork still falling very low. Yamate going back in to buy some more time. Dad Baby is going for the all-in play. Jibami. Drunken Haze. Gyang. So close yet so far. He needs the stun damage. 
Well, you find him. Yes, he can. Brush strike and the magic missile. They will get that kill. And now they have to they realize they have to get out of here. Clockwork bot back. He's TP in. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Something else very, very wrong is happening as the bottom lane is pushed in. But it's okay. Back inside the base. Sanking. He's t blinked out. Going for the TP. He doesn't have a TP. Brush strikes back up to the north. But it's going to be savaged in between two heroes. Three heroes make it four. And down he goes at long last. Dodging a bullet. The tier four fell. Many buybacks were used, but they are still saying it. we don't care. That was so worth it if you're thinking if you're next gen right now. Very close call. We are in for. I mean, we are we already involved in one heck of a game. Arguably, I don't care. I'm just calling this arguably what the best game so far of ESL when KDVG's open qualifiers. This is so intense, and even still, neither of these teams have exactly have had, you know, had a clear advantage in this game just yet. You have a 2,000 gold advantage, 3,000, whatever you want to call it, but it's so narrow, it's, it's barely anything. And I would say one of the biggest problems with New Beginnings lineup is that they, they don't siege towers quick. This Venge is only climbing in terms of items. The tier 2 tower will fall. The Yamate Dagon Bill starting to punish him just a tiny bit. He will build his way into an Aghanims. This is going to help so much with the BKBs. Over the top, they were looking for the Tinker. Oh, nice BKB, and this is why you buy BKB on Tinker. Close call, tiny heart attack there. But very, very nicely done from next gen. They forced out so many buybacks earlier on. Let's take a quick count. One, two, it was like, what? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was more, three, four, it was like four buybacks. The next gen, they will smoke up. If they win one more team fight, if they can just burst him down. And they will just go for the shrine first, taking the slow approach. It's a nice. It's good to see that you know next gen. Besides being able to force the issue, they they know when to just slowly play this out. Able to adjust the pace of the game accordingly, and this is what makes a good Dota player. You know, just being calm and collected at the right time, instead of going full monkey devil. Yeah, I'm gonna take the fancy new eggs. Thinking about jumping Aloha. With that Invis rune, they don't know. They have the haunt available as well. Butterfly coming up onto Ferocious here. Using that haunt, they wanna try to chase off the Gyang. Popping that BKB, they're gonna try. Oh, I heard a hookshot. Who did it go on to? Tinker. Oh, they found X Freedom. Gonna be the sole victim? Never mind. Clockwork, he's really taking care of 4 and 4. Jam on the floor. Ooh, and Gyang, they did take care of the clock so two supports down, but no buyback on the clock. Don't forget he bought back earlier on. And Roche is still not yet up. 30 more seconds. They can slowly bite that time, and they know that there's no haunt. And next gen have a very huge window. Alright, they're just going for the tier 4s. They don't they don't actually care. Wow. I, no way. There's no way they actually make this happen. They're going for the tier 3. They pop the primal split right now. They want to try and fight this. Miracle, don't forget the level 25 talent has the minus 65 second primal split cooldown. Forcing it out, they're still happy. They were trying their luck to see if they could force buybacks. Tinker? Holy shit, if he had got caught out there and died, that would have been a total disaster. Our 
But with Roche up in 10 seconds, do they, do they still have enough to do it? I mean, it's a very slow Roche. The Assault Curse and Avenge might help things out just a tiny bit. Meanwhile, you know, Miracle also wanting to go into his own counter AC. 45 minutes in. This is our longest game yet of this series. Tinker leveling up that Dagon. I'll take that. This is where you need more slots as a Tinker. Alright, so let's take a look at. You see, this graph never really went anywhere. Now it's pu being pulled back. Well, see, thought in a nutshell, right? You get a lead and then you just lose it. You have to lose it at least like twice. See? One, two. Let's look at items as well. Spirit Vessel has done so much work. This is a great item. You need one onto next gen side so you can deal the Spectre, unfortunately. But now they'll just go straight for the Roshan. Does next gen no? Ooh, this actually falls much quicker than I thought. Using the primal split for this next gen. Oh dear, they just let that big Roshan go in. That was something they desperately needed. So the next time this happens, you know, the next time there's a team fight, this is where this thing, things will get dragged out. I don't think they can confidently kill the Spectre like they did back in that middle lane exchange. But they will take the tier 1 tower at long last, so no more tier 1 towers. They need to take the tier 2. Slowly yet surely. And now they want to just back off here. They don't want to fight this. Or oh, this could be a trap. Do they want to bait? Young as well, man. Ooh, that Glimmer Cape. Dead Glimmer Cape. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Ooh, the coil. But the Burst Strike coming in. You want to try and jump Miracle? The Haunt's going to fly out as well. The Phoenix can it bring him down. Down goes Miracle for the count. The BKB is all popped. And down goes Clockwork as well. The swap out. Ooh, now the buyback up for Miracle. X Freedom actually going to get brought down here. Three heroes dead on the side of New Beginning. Have they done it? The lasers and missiles all fly out. The Haunt. It's on cooldown. Miracle comes in with the Primal Split once more. They have to, if they can just kill the Spectre one more time. Down goes Bane. Yamate trying to do whatever damage he can. Aloha tossed up into the air by the Cyclone, but the lasers are flying about. That's more than enough. The power of the Tinker. Tinker Cancer is back into play. Ooh, and now the Sand King buys back as well. Primal Split, not really sure what Miracle wants to do. He'll be forced to back out. And Miracle will blink away. New beginning, they realize that they have dodged a very, very big bullet. Multiple buybacks on both sides. That was a 4 for 2 trade, 2 buybacks, 1 on each side. This is scary. What a scary game. I'm not, even, I'm not even kidding. Like This game is crazy scary right now. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And that's going to be the Dyer's tower taken out. Tower. All the tier 2 towers gone. Dyer's bottom shrine is under attack. Young, he's trying to hurt like he's trying to do so much damage as his vengeful spirit carries. Guys, venge spirit is the way to go. Alright, so the smoke play is coming out. Next gen looking to try and end the game if they can just find the right kills, find the right initiation. Kyung coming in. Oh, this be a big play. Yamate is just blinked in. Oh, shit. But the coil comes out. Nice, beautiful hard coming out. It's a beautiful coil coming out from Yamate. And the latest are just still bouncing around. Oh, Yamate is down for the count. He has to buy back for this. Therefore, doing what they can. It's a full channel, but it's going to cycle up into the air. Proper buyback. The Burrow Strike and X Freedom should be dead. Hello? No detection. Dial actually ends up dying. The Primal Split is doing quite a ton. Furosh is here running around with this extended fight. All multiple buybacks. So many buybacks. Fiends keep catching Furosh here. Instantly cancelled. 
Laser supply gun is the Pentagon. Illuminati all over right again. Young Spectre is going to try and man fight this, and down he goes. I think down he goes down. Yes, yeah, Spectre is dead. Vivex once more from both sides. But the clock will be forced to buy back as well. Holy shit, how do these guys have buybacks for a thousand years? It looks like Miracle will probably die here with no buyback for two minutes. The heck? Incoming. Look at this. Everybody bought back. Well, almost everybody bought back. The entire new beginning bought back, and Miracle's the only one who does not have buyback. And thankfully, the bottom wave isn't even in their favor to try and push the tier 3 tower just yet. I'll take your treat. Gem on the floor. Okay, they picked it up. Don't worry, guys. It's, it's been salvaged. Holy cow. I mean, if anybody needs a wake-up call, this is this is the game for it. 51 minutes in, 52 to 44, new beginning in next gen. Neither team giving in. I mean, why hold buyback? At this point, no one has buyback. Oh, he's almost at level 25. I mean, at this point, everyone's going to be level 25. The only hero who's nowhere close to level 25 is X-Freedom on the Witch Doctor. That's cost 5. Alright, so Gyang, is he- are they about to do it? Oh, the Fiend script, they've caught him! But it was an illusion! What a bait, what a bait. And without the Fiend script, this could be problematic. The tier 3 tower about to fall here. Haunt's gonna be used They're over the side. Looks like they've isolated him. The Night Stalker, he's okay to die here, but he's already used the buyback. Hold the Glimmer Cape, saving him. He's okay. And they slowly back out. They know that the Haunt is on cooldown. They can just slowly wait this out. So, screw ups on both sides, but, you know, that's just the outplays. Hello? You know, I don't even I don't even fault him for that BKB mess up because at this point everyone's just like Yeah. You know, like I said, you know, at, at this point when you have so many items in your stash, you don't really you don't really know what you wanna do. I'm not even surprised if he goes into like a Radiant Mantra style very soon. A new beginning. Doing their best. Take care of that up sneaky observer what over there. Tier 3 tower already down, just waiting for the creep wave, but he will slowly siege. Dying we will get one lane of racks. Nothing you can do to pop the pipe. What do you think about a swap initiation and actually no next generation? From one lane of racks behind now and two lanes of racks. Taken out at 54 minutes in. Are they about to do this? What do heck? I mean, the Spectre doesn't exactly have the best of damage. Still trying to build his way into that BKB. Man, you need to send these teams your energy, guys. Because the buybacks are about to come off cooldown in three minutes' time. You <laughs> pray to God that this game stretches out a bit more so we can see more buybacks and more clowny fights. Yamate even has a Bloodthorn. Holy cow. It's the 420 GPM talent, guys. It's the 420 GPM talent. I'm almost disappointed he didn't go for the Dream Coil Rapid Fire. Can you imagine that with a Bloodthorn? You're just like... Pew, 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 pew. Everyone dies. I mean, that's what Dota is right now, right? It's a meme game. It's a meme game. Chat? So, 
everyone just goes back to farming just a tad bit more. Radiant are scanning. What what do you go for next if you're young? Do you like drop the hurricane pike? Do you want to go into like I don't know a satanic? Do you go into a blood tone of your own? Hello, you see the Roshan sub, this one has a refresher shot, it's a big item to hold, especially if you get a Sand King on the bane. Next fight's gonna be around this pit, Jabami coming in at the coil, it's gonna be used on you know, Tiyang. Has the BKB, but that's not gonna save him. He actually may end up dying here, the coil is not gonna be him. He's gonna actually go get the freedom kill, and Giang's dead. He has buyback. Will he be using it? That's the question. Aloha, they've been cancelled by the clock, bro. Primus, but yep, Giang buys back, it's about time. Why were you holding that? In such a game, everyone must buy back. No one's allowed to have buy back. While well, they pop the pipe, they're thinking about going back in. They have the superior gun. I have the higher gun now. That's what Anakin failed to understand. But all of the legends puking around. And oh dear, Aloha won't even make it the epicenter channel. But the use of the. Oh, yes, it does. Two heroes down the side. New beginning. And no buybacks. Three, he make it three. Kyan, gonna try to hold his guns here. Double damage, not really gonna do too much. Hunter in the night. Here dies right here. This could be over. Yamate. You need to do something to silence. Stop Spectre is still on the run. They've caught him into a trap. Stuck inside the trees. Where can he go? He's got nowhere to go. Oh, wait, hold on. Still maybe to survive this. He's actually about to survive. But here comes Dial. Four heroes dead on the side. New beginning. End the throne. Straight down mid. Ignore Yamate. And they're going straight for the mega creeps. Next gen. Have they done it? There is no buyback on anyone. On the side of New Beginning, they're going straight for the tier 4 tower. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh god, this is going to be the throne. The GG. Oh god. Oh my god. Next gen. Why is it, what an anticlimactic ending and the congratulations to next gen they will be the first team to go on into the regionals of the ESL KWGC qualifier what a series and it just goes to show like you can't really say that both teams played bad there was just so much action going on and all right so you can see the exact moment when that graph just turned you know like when everything just went to shit Goes to show that rank is just a number, you know, Gyang, the divine one player. Out carries against the rank 75 player. Rank is just a badge, guys. Rank is just a badge. It's just a badge. With 34,000 net worth on this Tinker. Whew. I mean, yeah, Spectre is one of those heroes where he does a lot of damage, but you just usually want to be able to pick off heroes. In this case, he doesn't have the, like, instant nukes, which would... Or say high amounts of physical damage, which like like a Sven, for example, some high crits. It just it was just so spread out. There was just no way they could properly focus someone down. Even Yamate had to transition into a right click puck. Didn't really work out at all. So Alright. We'll be back for our second BO2, guys. So we'll see you guys very, very soon. And I think I'll be covering Skyville versus Crit Pro Co. See you guys in a jiffy.